there, everyone. Welcome back to our series, AI in Action, Powering Up with Power Automate. So far, we've taken a look at AI prompts and how we can use those inside of Power Automate. In this video, we're going to see how we can use those same AI prompts inside of your Power Apps to add more AI intelligence to the apps that you make. And that's one of the beautiful things about the Power Platform is all of these tools can work together seamlessly. So let's take a look at how to use your AI prompts in your Power Apps Canvas apps. To get started, we'll go to make.powerapps.com and we'll go over to the AI Hub. This is the same AI Hub that we have in Power Automate, but we can also get to it here in Power Apps. Now we'll go over to the AI Prompt section and let's create an AI prompt that we'll use inside of a Canvas app. To do this, we'll select the Create Text with GPT using a prompt and select Create Custom Prompt. And I'm going to borrow a prompt that we have here from our prompts repository at aka.ms forward slash power dash prompts. And we'll look at this IT expert prompt. This particular prompt is going to tell our model to act as an IT expert. We're going to provide it with some information about a technical problem that we're having, and its role is to help us solve that problem. So to use this, we'll just copy this prompt. Now we'll go back over here into our prompt window, and we're going to rename this prompt. And then here in the prompt window, we'll paste in that prompt. And now all we have to do is pass in some dynamic content so that we're able to pass in our query to the prompt. To do this, I'm going to replace what's in this bracket here with a dynamic value. So we'll call this dynamic value problem. Now we'll save our custom prompt. And now before we try to use this inside of a Power App, let's test it to make sure that it's working. So we'll choose the test option here. And now we have a text box where we can put in our problem. So I'll put my mouse isn't working and we'll just click test prompt. All right, great. It looks like it's working correctly. It's following our instructions where it's acknowledging our problem and it's giving us step-by-step -step things to try to fix and resolve the problem. Now that we know it's working, we're ready to use this inside of our Power App. If we go over to the Apps tab in Power Apps, I have an application where I want to use this in, and this is my Help Desk application. So this is a Canvas application, and if I open it up, you see it's a pretty simple app where I can see Help Desk tickets that I've submitted and that are assigned to me, and I have the ability to add a new ticket. So just a very simple, straightforward system that will help me manage and add new Help Desk tickets. So right now, if someone adds a ticket, it gets assigned to a help desk technician and they go and help that person troubleshoot the issue. But a lot of the times there might be some simple issues that with a little help from AI, we can help users solve themselves. So this is a perfect use case for AI prompts in our Power App. What if we had a way before they actually go and create the help desk ticket to ask that prompt that we just put in for a little bit of help and have them troubleshoot the issue on their own. And then if it's still not working, of course, go ahead and submit that ticket. So that is what we're gonna add to this application. So what I'll do is add a window here to the right hand side, which will have an AI recommendation. So let's configure the screen first to hold the information and then we'll integrate the AI prompt. We're gonna go over to insert and under the layout section here, we'll add a container and we'll just drag this over here to the right hand side. And inside this, I'm going to add a text input so I can have some hard coded text here and we'll put, have you tried this AI recommended troubleshooting? And we'll just adjust this a little bit. We'll make the font size a little bit bigger and we'll make that semi bold. And then below we wanna show the result from the call to the prompt. So we'll just add in another text control and make that take up a good amount of the screen. And then we'll just add some buttons in this container. I'm gonna copy these buttons over here and we'll paste those in and drag those to the bottom right hand corner. And I'll just change these values to submit ticket. And then I'll make this one say it worked, meaning we don't need to submit a ticket. And now that we have a place to display the data, we can call our AI prompt. So to do that, it acts just like any data source that we would call in our Power App. So we're gonna go over here to the left-hand side and we'll click this data cylinder icon to open up our data tab. Then we'll go to add data. And when we open up that add data, we see we have a section here for AI models. And if we expand this section out, we can see some of the AI builder models. But if we click that see all option and scroll down a bit, we can also see our custom prompts. You'll see the text custom prompt underneath there on the subtitle. And there is our IT expert prompt that we created. So to use that, we would just select that. And as soon as we do that, you see that we do get this little yellow bar up here, just letting us know that AI generated content can have mistakes. So to make sure to check the accuracy, but now we have the power of this AI prompt in our application. 
So now what we can do to tie this all together is go to this save button when they would submit the ticket and go to its on select property. And rather than submitting it to a data source right away, we'll actually call that prompt. So to call the prompt, we just type in the name of the prompt, which is IT expert. So there it is right here in the IntelliSense. And then we can do a dot. So this gets all the properties for that prompt, which we only have one called predict. And now if we look at what's happening in the IntelliSense here, it's letting us know what inputs this particular prompt expects us to put in. Now, if you recall, when we initially set that up, we put one dynamic value in there called problem, and that's what it's telling us that it expects us to put in in order to be able to call this particular prompt. So now we can simply point that to the description that the user is putting in here. So this is the name of this text input, which I'll copy and I'll go back to our save button and I'll put that and we'll do a dot text. And now that will pass that value into our prompt. Now, right now that's going to call and pass in the value, but it's not going to give us what's returned. To do that, we need to put another dot right after this and then we can get the text that's returned. Now we want to display this information in that text input. So what we're going to do is use something called a variable inside of Power Apps to be able to store this information locally so we can display it on that right hand side. So we're going to use something called a context variable with a function called update context. And we need to give this variable a name. So we're going to say AI help. We're going to do a colon. And then this is the value of that variable. And we're just going to close that out. And now we have called our AI model, passed in the problem from a text input in our Power App. We've gotten the output of what that AI model is saying, and we put that in a variable so we can use. And now the last piece of the puzzle is to go to this text value and bind that to that variable we just set, which has the prompt outcome. So for this text object here, we'll just go to its text property and we'll point it to the name of that variable. And I believe we call that AI help. And then just before we test it, if we want to get really fancy, we can dynamically show or hide this section on the right. So it only is displayed after they click that save button. So let's just add this last little piece in here. We'll go to the save button. And then after we call our model here, we'll do a semicolon and we'll add another variable with the update context function. And we'll call this show AI help. And we're going to set that to true. And I'm going to copy this same function. And what I'll do is go back here into our tree view. I'm going to go to a property for the screen called on visible and we'll set this to false initially. So it won't show when you initially load the screen, but now it will when you click that button since we set the value to true. Now, the only other thing we need to do here is go on this container where we've grouped all of these different controls together and we'll go to the properties panel here and we'll go to the visible property. And instead of setting that to true, we'll set that to our show AI help variable. All right, so now that's not showing. I just did a little bit of behind the scenes configuration of that panel there to make it a little bit bigger so we can see all the text. Now let's do a test and see if this works. So I'm gonna put in a title here and then the description is the important part because that's what we're passing into the AI prompt. So I'm going to say I have a repeated blue screen on my work laptop, please help. Now we'll click save. That should go and call the AI prompt get a value and then set that visibility to true of that panel on the right hand side so we can see the output. And there you go, it's showing up and working beautifully. It's giving us a few steps that we can try like restarting our laptop, checking for updates, I can scroll through, look at all this information, give it a try. And if it works, I can say it worked and just cancel out of this ticket. And if it still didn't work, well, I can say I gave it a try and go ahead and submit that ticket. And this is just one of many different use cases that you can utilize AI prompts in your Power Apps. If you go and explore the prompts that we have out there on the Power Platform Prompts repo, you'll see a lot of examples and get some ideas for other things that you can do with AI prompts in Power Apps. And in addition to the prompt library, there's also an app in the Creator Kits that the PowerCat team puts out that lets you explore what you can do with AI prompts inside of Power Apps. It has a bunch of different prompts here that you can see on the left-hand side, and it shows you right on the screen how you would call that prompt and what parameters it takes. And it even gives you sample text below of what you could put in so you can test out the responses. So it has everything from generating headlines with AI, generating questions and answers, and even creating interactive elements like AI charts, color palettes, and emojis. Well, that's all that we have for this video. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to the Power Platform YouTube channel so you get notified when the next episode of AI in Action powering up with Power Automate is posted.